Ladies and gents, we're going to jazz it up for you a little bit today. Let's check it out. Yep, it is Jazz's 4-3-3, another tactic for you, uh, from a guy called Spirit of Jazz. I will say on the actual Steam Workshop page, it has a ton of information, so definitely check it out. It's so much information, I'm not even going to start reading it for you. But you've got in transition, out of possession, approach play, in possession. Uh, you've got all these things that you can take a look at. Considerations, opposition, are they a stronger team? Coaching team recommendations. Finally, keep in mind your player's strengths. So as always, when you're playing in a tactic in FM, you always want to keep in mind your player's strength. So that's kind of a given. But this is the tactic. It is a 4-3-3. You have a goalkeeper in defend. You have wingbacks in support on both sides. Ball playing defender in defend on both sides. Deep line playmaker in defend, a Carolero in support on the right, a CM in attack on the left, inverted winger in attack on the left, inside forward in attack on the right, and then a complete forward in attack up front. Mentality is positive. It is a custom tiki taka in possession, attacking with his fairly narrow approach play pass into space, play out of defense. Passing directness is shorter, tempo is slightly higher, mixed crosses in the final third, hit early crosses. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the fullbacks and the center backs, and then out of possession, high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and trigger press much more often. Now, for our three teams, it was okay. I mean, Totten getting 70 points in third in Champions League spot is not too bad. Uh, Wolves in ninth with 52. Eh, it's okay. Newcastle, not great, though, with 49. It This tactic definitely didn't suit them or their squad. Schedule-wise for Tottenham, looking okay. I mean, uh, nice August with one loss, a spotty September, a nice October. Uh, you're continuing on in everything. Uh, EFL Cup, FA Cup third round, you do lose out to Manchester City, 2-3. to three. EFL Cup second leg, you lose out 2-3 to three in penalties against Manchester United. Champions League round of 16, you lose out to Sevilla. So you're out of everything. Uh, and actually from that point on, only two losses. Uh, but you do have a nice kind of end to the season run. Wolves, on the other hand, looking not great in August whatsoever. Five losses. Uh, a good September, but then continuing on. You actually, you lose out in the EFL Cup second round to Newcastle of all teams. Won five. That's a harsh one. Uh, second half of the season, you continue on in the FA Cup up until West Brom. 1-2 loss away from home and just spotty. I mean, you have a nice run here, but that's about it. West Ham, 8-1. to one. And then Newcastle, fantastic August with the first Liverpool loss, as always. But then September, October, awful until you get to November. You do lose out in the EFL Cup fourth round to Manchester United. The FA Cup third round, 5-1 to one to Brighton. And then, dang, that is... A lot of missed points right there. And not by a lot. I mean, 1-2, one, 1-all one draw, 1-5. Okay, that one hurts. 1-3 one, to Tottenham, 1-3, I mean, 2-3. You got some that you could be able to bring back. But that is a severe issue right there. Uh, and definitely one that I would be fired for. Transfers for Tottenham. You've got Ruben Neves from Wolves for $45 million. Victor Nelson from Galatasaray. And Livakovic from Z Dynamo Zagreb. And outs as usual. Wolves spending a little money. Ricardo Pereira from Leicester for $11 million, And then Samu from FC Vizela for two point three. I think we've seen some of that. Ruben Neves out to Tottenham. We've seen for forty five. dollars That's a big one right there. Newcastle going in for Malcolm from Zenit. $42.5 million. Uh, Kai Kennedy, Douglas Santos. We've seen a couple of these already. And then all loans on out. Squad-wise for Tottenham, not too bad. Seven seven four for Harry Kane in the last five. Wow. Seven eight zero for Kulisevsky. For Wolves, meh, not quite as good. But And then Newcastle, uh, yeah, I mean, last five looks good here. Malcolm getting 7-8-2, 12 plus one appearances. Not too bad there. Data Hub, as you can see, they're good in both defense and attack. Uh, as you can, Not all that great. We've seen some tactics where they are much higher up in the charts. Uh, even for a third place team, that seems a little low to me. But fouls per game through the roof. Uh, all the others, meh. Wolves weak defensively, but generally okay in attack. Uh, some, I mean, same as Tottenham pretty much. Shots per game is a little lower, but defensively. You've got less fouls made per game, which is nice to see, but at the same time, everything else, not great. Newcastle, shaky in defense, good in attack, 
I mean, attack wise, they actually look better than Wolves. Uh, huge amount of fouls made per game, but everything else, again, just a little too low. Stats wise, all three teams with most goals 67, 67, and 66, uh, tied for the fourth and up in sixth. Fewer shots against nobody, most possession. Tottenham, there you go. I mean, still average fairly. Most dribbles made, nobody. Fewest conceded. Tottenham with only 40 and 38. Few shutouts, Tottenham, there you go. Most tackles won, no one. Wow, just the defensive side is not there all that much. Tottenham with 86% pass completion. Uh, most shots for Newcastle and Tottenham up there. Not Wolves, though. And then most points per game. Tottenham in third, 1.84. Most goals, Isaac Kane and Son, 17 and 14 in there. Most assists, Son with 15. Sarabi is up there. Kulisevsky is up there. Nice to see. Most player of the match awards, Isaac and Son. Uh, Isaac and Son doing fairly well this season. Except not in Newcastle, sadly enough. Hugo Lloris with best pass completion, as we always see. Uh, most dribbles made, St. Maximin. Fewest conceded, Lloris. Levakovic in first. Only 14 allowed. Most shutouts, absolutely no one. Most tackles won, Son. Uh, most key passes, you got Trippier, Sarabi, and Son. So somewhat average. Most shots, Kane and Isaac. And we've seen most goals. And finishing out with each team as they do in all competitions, Harry Kane with 25 goals, Sun 721, highest average rating and 16 assists. Uh, Basuma, Sun, Kulisevsky with six player of the match awards apiece. Nicely spread out there. Pablo Sarabia getting 14 goals as the top scorer. Not that great overall. I mean, maybe they got a couple up there and just Sarabia with the 14. But Nunez with a 717, Pablo Sarabia with 13 assists. Kilman, Jimenez, and Nunez, all with three player of the match awards apiece. Uh, I mean, not gr the greatest of tallies, but Alexander Isaac only with 18 goals total. Isaac with 722, highest average rating. St. Maximum with 10 assists, and then Isaac with six player of the match awards. Overall, uh, the tactic did okay. I mean, obviously, again, simmed. If you take control, you're going to do a lot better. If you follow this guy's set of instructions and what to do and what to look at, you could probably do even better still. So definitely look at it. A nice four. This is a very good four three three to start off with, and then kind of build from there and see how your team goes, uh, especially with your team strengths and weaknesses and things like that. But overall, not too bad. But this is Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.